In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of summer pre-college programs for high school students. So what are summer pre-college programs? Um, they are programs that generally are done between the summer of a high school student's junior and senior year, or possibly sophomore and um, junior year. Uh, I think sometimes they accept people um, who are between their, or students between their freshman and sophomore year, but it's um, much more common to go the next two summers. Um, and so high school students go off to college, they get to live on campus, they generally live in a dorm, um, and they take classes. We'll talk about the different kinds of classes in a bit, uh, but it really gives you a taste of what college life is like. Um, they generally are of varying lengths. Sometimes there's just like a one week intensive session. Sometimes it's a month, sometimes it's even longer than a month. Um, and so there's just a wide range of programs and there's probably going to be one that's good for you somewhere out there. So what are the benefits? One, as a high school student, you get to try out college life. Like, what is it like? How is it similar to high school? How is it very different from high school? You get to even be on your own and be in a dorm room. You're away from your parents. You have a lot more freedom, but not too much freedom. Generally, you have an RA on your floor and you have uh, times that you have to be there like a curfew. Um, but you do have a lot of freedom throughout the day, which is kind of an interesting, interesting thing to try out before you get to college where you have freedom essentially all the time. You can try out something that your high school doesn't offer. Maybe you go to a small school or they don't have a program. Maybe you love oceanography and you're in the middle of Iowa and there is no oceanography program at your high school because there's no ocean. Um, so it would be great to go someplace like Yukon or somewhere else that has oceanography um, programs or maybe your school doesn't offer a filmmaking program so you want to go try that out or architecture or any of the other things that are out there. Um, maybe you're super interested in archaeology and your high school does not offer any classes in it. You could probably find a summer pre-college program where they offer um, classes in archaeology. If there's a school you really want to go to, it's your dream school, you could go there for the summer and you can see what it's actually like and maybe you'll love it and maybe you won't but isn't it a great way instead of just you know those like two to three day visits when you go on a college visit and you think you know what the school is like but this really gives you several weeks to see what life at that college is actually like um maybe there's something that you know like you really want to study art, but you know when you go to college, you don't want to major in art or anything. And maybe you're even going to a business school like Babson or something, and you know you don't have access to a lot of art colleges. I mean, maybe they have art, sorry, art programs. Maybe they have uh, art classes there. I'm not quite sure. But still, if you're going to like an engineering school and you really love art or you want to try something out, then um, it can be a great thing to do to kind of be able to have this time in your life to concentrate on something when you know like, okay, but later in my life, I'm going into nursing or something else very intensive where I can't take that many elective classes. Another benefit is the college gets to know you. So like, let's say that you wanna to go to a school. So I had a student who wanted to go to Cornell and he wanted to study architecture. So he went to a pre-college program there. And so he got to know the school, but also the school got to know him and they got to know that he wasn't some weirdo. In fact, he was a very hardworking, great young man. Um, and they know that now because you have been in their program. And the good thing is too, is that like other colleges will see, oh, this person successfully completed a pre-college program they you know must be okay kind of um if you're doing something like architecture or art or something like that where you need a portfolio or drama um a summer pre-college program can really help you in terms of building that portfolio beyond what you are able to do in high school um it's proof, as I mentioned before, not just that college that gets to know you, but all colleges see that you can do college level work, you know, that you can handle it, that you got good grades when you were there. 
Some programs even offer college credit. So yes, these programs can be expensive, though the prices can um, vary wildly and there is scholarships at some of these programs. Um, but it's great if you earn college credit that can actually save you money later because you'll have to take fewer classes when you're actually in college and you might be able to save on tuition. Finally, you look like a nerd in the best possible way. And I mean that in a great way. Like, they know, a college knows that you spent your summer where you could have been lying on the beach and hanging out with your friends and whatever, that you spent your summer doing something interesting and academic. And that makes you seem like a much more serious student. And, um, and so that can be much more attractive um, to colleges uh, in your application. Now, what kind of programs are there out there? I mentioned art before, uh, oceanography, filmmaking, science, drama, English, like basically everything that's out there, someone's doing a program on it. Um, so there's a whole wide range of topics that you could study at these programs. But there are two different kind of setups for these programs. And Northwestern University is actually a great example because they offer both kinds. So Northwestern University uh, in Illinois offers their CPP program. And that is where high school juniors and seniors come to the uh, Northwestern. They live in the dorm. They might take one or two like classes just for high school kids, like a, a writing seminar or something. But then they actually take regular college classes with regular Northwestern college students and they get college credit for it. So that's like a really interesting thing. Um, but for some people that might be too intense or maybe the university doesn't offer it. So Northwestern actually offers the second kind of program as well, which is like they have the Cherub program, which um, is basically high school students show up, live on campus, and then they go to s classes that are specifically made for high school students at that college. So it's run by the college, it's taught by the college, but the only other people that you would have in your class are high school students. Um, they also have a journalism institute that's like that as well. So how do you find programs? Well, you can just Google like college name pre-college, like Harvard University pre-college or Skidmore pre-college and stuff will come up. Or if you're on a university website already, a lot of times if you go to the continuing education or prof professional studies, um, a lot of times the programs are run through that. They might be run through other parts of the university as well, but they um, are run often through continu continuing education. The other things you might wanna think about is uh, that, as I mentioned before, tuition costs can vary wildly, like crazy amounts. Sometimes longer programs can be cheaper at one place and shorter programs are more expensive at another place. And, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. And then you have to figure out like, well, for this money, am I getting college credit? Am I not getting college credit? Is that really important to me? Or is it just a benefit enough that I'm going and colleges see that and I get to have the experience? Um, you do want to make a note of the application deadline and everything that you need to do to apply. And if you're asking any of your high school um, teachers to write you a recommendation, if they require that for the application, make sure you give them a good amount of time. At the end of the year, you're probably looking at this in the spring. It's a very busy time for high school teachers. They're getting kids ready for AP. They're having their all their seniors finish up with everything. They're getting in their final grades. It's just a crazy time of year. So make sure that you um, go to a teacher. First of all, you ask them if they're comfortable writing the recommendation and that allows them to say yes or no in a graceful way. So just ask them if they're com comfortable to write you a recommendation and give them all the information and let them know what the due date is. And again, ask them a good amount of help of time. You don't want to like spring it on them and be like, oh, I need this like, uh, you know, by Friday, because again, they're very, very busy. Um, so anyway, if uh, hopefully this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, you can contact me. But uh, I think that these pre-college programs can be a really great thing to do. I actually worked at one um, for a summer uh, when I was in college. 
uh, helping out um, and being an RA and teaching a little bit of writing to the high school kids. And I just, I think it's a really wonderful, valuable thing for students to do.